Decorating the outside of your house can be expensive. Today I'm going to show you some easy outdoor DIYs that you can do using Dollar Tree items. Dollar Tree now has these $5 plant stands. These are great for your outdoor spaces. They come in a variety of colors. My store has the white. They also have gray and a light blue. All right, Liz is getting ready to start working on the first project. Yeah, I just got this plant stand at Dollar Tree and I want to spray paint it. I'm kind of having trouble deciding what color to put it. This is $5 at Dollar Tree, by the way. I'm thinking of going black. I don't know, what would you guys do? Either black or I may go like a navy. So let me know down in the comments which you would prefer, but I'm gonna spray paint it and use it to put my planter on outside. So I'm gonna spray them with two coats of a matte black spray paint. I'll start on the bottom side spray painting, and then I'll move to the top. Every time I share these plant stands on my socials, they've been such a popular item. And if you have a Dollar Tree Plus section, you can hopefully find them as well. I would love to know down in the comments if you've been able to find them. These are great to put underneath your plants and I'll show you how these look in my outdoor space. I've never attempted to put a water feature together before, but with the new planters that they have in the Dollar Tree Plus section, it really made me wanna try. So you're gonna need two planters for this water feature. I went with one of the $5 planters, and then I also picked up a bowl over in the bowl section. It may be in the organization section, but you need something that's just really wide for your base. I'm gonna spray both of these pieces with two coats of a terracotta spray paint. I'll start on the bottom. Once that dries, I'll flip it over and spray paint the top. So I wanted to attach the two planters together. So I put E6000 on the bottom of my top planter and then put it on the base, but then I realized I forgot a step. So I pulled it off before it had a chance to dry. I realized that I forgot to add drainage holes to my bottom planter. So just using a screwdriver, I added four drainage holes to the bottom of that larger planter. The next thing I wanted to do was add rocks to that bottom planter just to create an extra level of drainage and add weight. So I added a layer of rocks at the bottom and then I put the planter on top of the rocks. The other thing this is going to do is it's going to create an area on that bottom planter where I can plant my plants. Next I will plant some flowers around the bottom planter. The only thing we have left to do is our top planter. So I'm going to put some additional rocks in our top planter. I'll fill it up with water. Next, I need to add my solar water feature pump to the top of my water. This I picked up off of Amazon. I will link it for you down below. And this is what's going to create our fun water feature. So I will add that to the top of my water. And here's how the entire water feature turned out. After using the solar fountain pump, I have some recommendations for you to how to make it work a little bit better for your project. Now this really likes full sun. So when the solar pump is in full sun, it's going to really spray high. And I found that mine actually sprayed too high. So in the future, I would probably pick a wider base to my planter just to make sure all the water stayed within my planter. Now, if you have an area that's not full sun and it's shaded, it will just have a little bit of water trickle out. Both look really nice, but I wanted to share with you the difference in case you decide to pick up this pump. For our next DIY, I picked up a white wire basket at Dollar Tree. Now, did you guys know that you can actually bend these pretty easily? I'm gonna start by bending the base of this wire basket and I'm gonna just push it in, creating a fun decorative shape. After I have it the way I want, I'm gonna spray paint it with two coats of a blue spray paint. Next, I'm gonna fill it up with these decorative items I picked up in the shore living section. They're these really pretty decorative pieces that are wrapped with nautical rope and macrame. I hope you're able to find them this year. And I'm just gonna cut off the tags and I'll fill them into my blue container. And here's how I styled it outside.
make sure you paint that subscribe button. If you're watching me on your phone, the subscribe button is right next to my channel name. Click the red subscribe button so it goes from red to gray. You can also click the notification bell so you can see more videos like my Dollar Tree DIYs, home packs, and room makeovers. Since we're DIYing an outdoor space, we have to do a doormat. And I think one of the best and most affordable places to get a doormat would be at Ikea. They have these blank ones, so you can do so much with these. So I picked one of these up at Ikea. Now to DIY this, I wanted something really simple that looked amazing. So I'm gonna start by measuring my mat to figure out where the center is. And I realized it was about 18 inches. Next, I measured over three inches from that center point. I'm gonna be using frog tape and I'll place the tape at that three inch mark on the right side. Then I'll repeat those steps, measure three inches and do the same on the left side. Now I like to, again, make this as easy as possible. I'm gonna make two more lines. So to do that, I'm just going to place a piece of painter's tape down and then I'll put another one beside it. The middle piece of painter's tape, I'll pull that up and that's gonna give me a perfectly measured line. I'll repeat that step one more time. You guessed it, we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. We'll place down our painter's tape and then put another one beside it, pull up that middle painter's tape and then I'll do it again and I'll repeat that one more time. Okay, now that we have all of our painters taped down, it's time to paint. I love picking up sample paints because they're inexpensive and you can get them in practically any color that you want. For this, I'm gonna be using a dark gray color. So with my paintbrush, I'll just dab it into my paint. I'll brush it along the top of my rug. Now, the thing you wanna be careful with whenever you're painting a rug is you wanna make sure that you brush it evenly so you don't get big globs of paint in certain sections. So you wanna add as much paint until you're happy with it. Then let it dry, but you really don't have to let it dry completely before you pull up the painter's tape. And I'm usually really impatient. So I'll go ahead and pull up the painter's tape. Now the final step you don't wanna skip is adding in a sealer, especially since you're gonna be putting this rug outside. The product that I have been using lately and really liking is something called Flex Seal Clear. This is great to put on your outdoor rugs to protect them. Even if you don't DIY them, any rug that you pick up at the store, it's gonna make it last longer. I'll add a generous coat of the Flex Seal Clear on the top of my rug. Let that dry completely and then you can put it out in front of your door. If you love watching my DIY videos, I actually have a second channel called Liz Movement Daily, where I post daily DIYs, live streams, and behind the scenes content. So if you wanna check out my second channel, Liz Movement Daily, I'll put the link down in the description box. In the Dollar Tree Plus section, one of the new items I was excited that Dollar Tree has added are their wreaths. They have some cute ones. They're not too big, but they have some pretty ones. And the one I was most excited about was this lavender wreath. But when I got it home, I realized it wasn't really that full. So I thought, you know what? I can use some greenery that I have to really elevate this wreath. And that's what I did. So I went through some of my greenery and I found these stems from Dollar Tree as well as Hobby Lobby that were really simple similar and I just cut off four inch pieces on that greenery. And then I'm gonna go around and anytime I see an opening or an area that's not as full on the wreath, I'll add some hot glue to the base and put that greenery on. As you can see, I didn't add that much and it made a huge difference on this wreath. And you can use these wreaths to hang up in your outdoor space. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Comment the word of the day, which is planter. These solar lights would work perfect in any outdoor space. I'm gonna show you how I hung them up on my patio.
I can't get enough of all the new planters at Dollar Tree this year. I really liked this white one. I thought it had a pretty shape. So I picked this one up and I wanted to try a new paint technique on this. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding in some of the Dollar Tree spackling to a bowl. I'm also going to add in some paint. I've never added paint to spackling, so I wanted to see how it turned out. So I'm going to add in terracotta paint as well as a brown paint, and then I'll just mix that all together. Next, I'll use a spatula to add it to the side of my planter. Now, as I'm putting it on, I don't wanna cover it completely. I want some of that white to show through from the planter. So I just roughly put it around all the edges. Then I came back in and tried to smooth it down and expose some of the white of the planter underneath. Once I was happy with the appearance, I let that dry completely. Now after it was dry, there were some rough edges, so I used some sandpaper to sand it down so it was a lot smoother. Since my planter is going to be outside, I added a matte finish acrylic sealer to the outside to hold everything in place. And you can add in any plant that you want to this planter. I think one of my favorite lines is the shore living line that they have at Dollar Tree. They just have so many pretty items. And when I found these decorative charger plates, I had to pick it up and I knew I had to do a DIY with it. So you're gonna need one of these blue charger plates. You're also going to need four of the small terracotta pods. The reason I went with four is because this is going to be outside. So we wanna make it as stable as possible. So with my four terracotta pods, I'm gonna add E6000 to the bottom of them. Then I'm gonna place them on the back side of my charger plate in the four corners. I'll let that dry overnight and then you can add anything you want to your tray. I'm going to add some LED candles that I picked up off of Amazon. I'll link them for you down below and here's how this really pretty tray turned out. It's your turn to vote. Let me know down in the comments which of these projects was your favorite. I love knowing your opinion. Don't be afraid to try that project you've always wanted to try. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. I hope you subscribe because I want to see you back here and I'll see you in our next one.